Hey YouTube, it's Brandon Red here. In today's video, I am doing a review of the amazing Cosplay Sky Gentle Hux um, costume that was actually uh, graciously sent to me for free. So the first item that comes in the kit is this jacket, and the jacket is the most gorgeous piece of the entire set. I was actually amazed with the quality. It is super thick and it can actually be worn as a normal jacket. I actually plan on wearing it in the winter. Um, it has a lot of interesting details and it has the insignia, of course, of the First Order on the arm. And then you go down to the hands and they have the, um, the kind of the wraps, but unfortunately they aren't sewn down like they're supposed to, they do kind of hang. The inside is uh, lined with a really nice uh, shiny but also warm fabric. Like I said, this can be worn, and it does have, I think, one or two pockets on the front. So here's showing the arm again, and you can see those wrapped insignia, uh, kind of armbands. The tunic is um, made of a very shiny material. It's almost similar to the lining of the jacket, and it also does have a lot of interesting um, pieces as well. Like The neck has this piece that folds over and then um, holds itself in place with Velcro, and then the rest of the tunic is a zip-up. The details on the tunic are about the same as the jacket, so it does have the insignia and uh, the armbands just like the jacket does. Also as you can see there is a pleather belt that does come with the set. Um, it is okay, but I would recommend if you were going to use it to uh, maybe cover up the pleather shiny material with a maybe piece of metal. And as you can see there is also two sets of pockets on the tunic as well, but those do be covered up with the belt when it's not in use. The set also does come with a nice kind of pair of gloves. It's a normal, you know, cosplay pair of gloves that you get. The pants that come with the set are made of the same material that the tunic are made out of, and these were actually, in my opinion, really impressive. They do have like this kind of flare out, as you can see, to the side, almost like World War II, like German military pants, which I thought were super interesting. I may have just totally botched that that's playing out World War II, but. So here's me wearing the entire outfit. Um, I was just kind of goofing around trying on the whole suit. Now for these photos that I have coming up, I actually did uh, use a temporary red hair spray or dye to dye the rest of the hair. And you can see it really does have the look of General Hux. Now if you guys are interested in actually purchasing this, I am getting a coupon code from Cosplay Sky and that will be in the link in the, dis or the description in the below. It'll be like a code that you can enter on their site. This suit is currently 100 and um, I think $18. I will totally revise that if I am wrong, but I would highly recommend it. I think it's about an eight out of 10, only because there are a few things that could be changed. Um, 501st, if you're into that, I wouldn't say it's like a completely 501st outfit, but it still is a really nice for casual con conventions or kind of just to wear around the house, like I said. So thanks so much guys, and uh, please like, subscribe, and share this video.